Hello YouTube! My name is LegoCrop75 today, and then let's play a Fallout New Vegas. So we last left off, we finished up the Old World Blues DLC. That was a fun DLC. A lot of good phallic humor in it. You know, my kind of humor, if you will. Now that that's complete, and I've properly restocked on both munitions and repair kits, we are now going to make our way to the fourth and final DLC of Fallout New Vegas in terms of story story content that takes you to a different part of the map. Oh, I got a headache. Ah, uh, anyways. In terms of fourth and final story content DLC, we're going to be making our way to Lonesome Road. Lonesome Road... Oh, my. I'm sorry, I'm like on beer number three right now. I got a headache. I don't know why I got a headache. It is bath baffling me something fancy. I'm very upset about it. Which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. There we go. So I need to go this way. And walk this way. There we go. Anyway. Yeah. So I've been, I took a break from in between recording sessions. This is going to be a different day for y'all with how I'm going to be uploading these videos, so. Yeah. All, in all honesty. Ooh, you know what? No, I should probably keep to the schedule. Yeah, we'll just do that. Any, oh, hey, a body of water. Is this radioactive or is this clean? Oh, it is clean. Is radioactive. Damn. Ooh. Man, I had like five eggs for dinner. And uh, then I had one of my buddy's uh, free sandwiches from his Starbucks job. He packed the freezer fucking full, dude. And there's like a bunch of frozen breakfast sandwiches in there. I'm like, oh, this is heaven. So I'm not gonna have to worry about making breakfast tomorrow morning until I buy more strawberries. I'm so happy I could cry. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to cry on camera. Not yet, at least. <laughs> oh, it is that direction. Right, that's a different thing. Yeah. So, we're going to head head over to this DLC for one of two reasons. One, it's the next DLC. and yeah, Good content for the channel, obviously. That's how I'm doing this series. At least I think. Many, 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 just about everyone, or at least majority of the people in my Discord server, I've always been saying, please stop doing Let's Play videos. I'm like, but I enjoy them, and they're good filler content. They are not enjoying the filler content, and I can't really blame them. I need to do actual content soon. Ah, <sighs> oh well, it is what it is. Oh, yeah, there's coyotes over here. I wonder what was here before... Before the DLC came out. I'm actually kind of curious. Oh, well. Courier 6. Coyote, coyote meat and coyote hide. Seven bottle caps. That's adorable. But yeah, once we're done with this DLC, we're going to get back to the main story of the game. Mostly just a lot of exploring. Just going throughout the wasteland, finding what's out there to find. Hopefully some new content I haven't actually touched yet because I never had the chance or the purpose to actually go and find it myself. We'll be doing that and then finishing the final story. Trying to do as much content as we can before we finish things off. But yeah. Let's get this started. I got a shit ton of ammo, shit ton of repair kits, and a whole lot of drugs. Let's get this show on the road. The coordinates you received lead you to this canyon filled with the storm-tossed wreckage. Beyond lies the divide. Lonesome Road is intended for experienced couriers. Level 25 or higher. You cannot take companions with you on the road ahead, nor bring any you find out with you. You can carry whatever equipment and gear you have with you without restriction, however. If the journey if the journey proves too difficult, or you need to resupply, you can retrace your steps and return to the Mojave at any time. 
If you are prepared, then continue on into the storms of the divide. History awaits. Walk away or walk the lonesome road. Come on, people. Let's walk this lonesome road together. And actually... Oh, hold on. Sorry. Forgot. Damn it. The silo. Damn it. Actually, don't let me reload. There we go. Oh, it didn't do the thing. No, hold on, hold on. There we go. Let's walk the lonesome road, people. The reunion. Quest complete. There we go. I'm recording? Yes, I'm recording. Very good. And I'll be honest, something I was actually thinking about doing once this series was done, this could be the alcohol talking, was I really wanted to play the other... Um, what you call it? The other Armored Core games. Bottle caps. And MR, oh my lord. <laughs> I forgot how much few food that feeds you. Holy shit. Yeah. There's actually, yeah, there's so there's a few reasons. There's a few other reasons too I want to complete this DLC. Aside from getting that extra special point, so I can finally get my hands on the uh, reload reloading perk. Look at that. Look how beautiful that is. So yeah, this is the divide. It used to be like a thriving NCR territory, and then some horrible thing happened and it caused all this bullshit. And we're gonna go explore it. Have fun. It's a good thing we got our power armor too, just for the horrendous wind. And we'll see exactly why. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. It's like my Gatling laser is just oozing, ready to fire its laser beams. Anyway, let's continue. So yeah, um, there's a uh, companion we can get in the Divide. Who can boost our laser gun damage by a shit ton. And it's fucking fantastic. Oh, that just opens on its own. Well, alrighty. Alrighty. This console controls access to the silo itself, but it is encrypted beyond your ability to hack. You will need to find something that can break the encryption in order to proceed. Alrighty, let's go find that. What we got? Maintenance access level three. Unlock maintenance access door. Thank you. Alright, we got in here. Oh, yes! And of course, one of the new weapons provided in this DLC, the Arc Welder. Basically, it's the electron charge pack version of a flamethrower. It sucks. It sucks so hard. That's, that's damage with max charge ammo as well. 30 round magazine. Just, it's basically an electric jizz gun. It's such crap. I don't know why they even bother... Ooh, the reactor is not in good shape. Oh! Well, hello! Ooh, auto-injects impacts. Those are great because they, well, auto-inject. The only downside is it's a stim pack with a weight value. Which means you can carry only a limited number of them. Very unfortunate, but it is what it is. Ooh. Quartz. Good old quartz. Nuclear cool quartz. Very good. Anyway, let's get the show on the road. Unlock prototype bot pod. There we go. Epic. Oh, right. Oh, not here. We meet Eddie. Ralphie, fly far, fly fast. And then it's Ash Ketchum. What was that sound you played? Come some kind of memory glitch? I don't know why I'm talking southern. Been watching a lot of uh, um, Young Sheldon, and so and they're Texan 
family, so they kind of have a southern accent to them. So, yeah. <laughs> no, it wasn't your boot-up sequence, it was a recording. Something about someone called Ralphie. Did they some beeping? Probably just some old data floating around in your memory. Nothing to worry about. Yay! I think I could use your help getting out of here. Can you come with me? Alrighty. Experiment log 369248-B. iBot DuraFrame Universal Interface Override System. This is Dr. Whitley presiding. We've boosted signal gain and enlarged the overflow buffer system. That should ensure 100% connectivity and control. Eddie, whenever you're ready. Yes, success. <clears throat> um, reporting full success on 369248-B. Eddie was able to interface with and override the test panel in under three seconds. Great job, team. Now let's start on the proposal for the full rollout. Alrighty. That's a recording from your development. Are you saying you can override electronic security? Alright. Panels with a dish shaped receiver. Console in the brain room has one of those, I think. What happened to him? Aww. <laughs> it's like a flying puppy. <laughs> Alright, let's keep going. Oh, yeah. Eddie, get over here, bitch. Thank you. Oh, thank you very much. Right, up, up. And the commissary is active. And the universal repair interface. 6200 caps. That is a new amount. Ah, yes. Riot gear and, you, and riot gear helmet. And U.S. Army gun combat armor. Very shit. Just, just, just saying. We also got medics. This all, this jizz. And let's see what else we got. Yeah, nothing. Nothing. Not a whole lot. There we go. Sell the salesman weekly. There we go. Alright, come on, Eddie. Let's do this shit. What's the recording at? Oh, that's fine. Also, yeah, I meant to mention this earlier, but this is one of the only DLCs without a super duper long intro cutscene. Get over here, man. Come on. You know, you just enter and then you just start doing shit. It's one of those places where it's like it really relies on you to do stuff, and the story. All the story beats are kind of based around that. That right there is a real rocket. I mean, the bottle of it is actually based off of a real thing. Ah! And there we go. Destroyed iBot. iBot upgrade circuit boards. You found a module in this broken iBot I bought that can upgrade Eddie. Installing this module grants you the first rank of camaraderie. Camaraderie perk. Allowing Eddie to repair your currently equipped weapon once per day. This perk is access to Eddie's dialogue. If you find more upgrade modules, you can unlock further ranks of this perk. When he returns to Mojave, these upgrades will carry over to the original Eddie as well. So that's some of the great things about this. Devils. Devious. Stripes. Alrighty. Oh, cool. Alright, let's get rid of them duds. Whoa. Discuss? Oh, hey, there we go. Right on. Just, just an unlock door. Their auto inject stim pack just in case something gets dicey. Always good to have just in case. Yep, yep, happy beeping. Dr. Grant? What the hell do you think you're doing? Ah, oh, Whitley, there you are. Orders from Colonel Autumn. He feels the iBot DuraFrame project isn't advancing quickly enough. 
I'm too. You didn't even disengage his damage avoidance protocols. You're hurting him. Don't be ridiculous. It's just a machine. See here, I've already increased the navigation system's efficiency by 65%. Get the hell out of here! Fine, Whitley. It's your lab. <laughs> At least until I tell the Colonel about this. Oh. Dr. Grant sounds like a war crime waiting to happen. <laughs> oh, Jesus. No. Anyway. What was I talking about? There we go. That was gonna be fun. Oh yeah, so... Oh my. Yep, yep. Yeah, a lot of the dudes here we'll be fighting are these marked men. They're basically old NCR and Legion troops. Now, ghoulified, but in a weird way. Like, their skin is gone, but not in the normal sense of a ghoul. Prepare to terminal. Oh! Hold on. Nice. Ow! That. Oh! Well, thankfully this is a story mission that he can't die. Literally. If he dies now, he, he can't complete the DLC, so... He's got immunity status right now. God. There we go. Anywho, now that that's taken care of. Ten mil. Ooh, lots of pre-war money. Right, this guy became uh, General Martin Redlap. He became ghoulified. Then, oh, he might have shot himself. Never mind. Let's, let's just go. I got computer. Schematics. Oh, <laughs> hell yeah! Perfect. Oh yeah, just a bunch of regular plasma rifle and I'll take all that. Thank, thank you. Oof. A lot of electron charge back here. Come on, Eddie. Take care of it. We got the password. But yeah, what was I talking about? I was gonna talk about something. Yeah, I guess once we're done with this, I'll be doing the um. There we go. Ooh, more money. That's right, I hacked the turrets. Oh, that's the first. I love hacking turrets. Take another doctor's bag, don't get me wrong. I'd rather have them and not need them than need them and not have them, as that old saying goes. Damn it. Well, no XP for me. Ah, oh, well, I really don't mind doing that. I don't care if y'all hate me for it, I'm doing it. <laughs> More marked men, bottle caps, thank you. 
you have nuts on you. So yeah, you can go home, courier. Yeah, it's a very interesting DLC. Basically, all the things that happen in this DLC only happen because you're here. You know, you progressing to see how things play out is what allows things to play out. It's not one of those weird things where it's like, weird things where it's like, it's only going to happen because you're here. Even though that's generally how it goes for video games, but like this specifically, it's all about me and my insistence on pursuing this, whatever this is, you know? So, yeah. Uh... Oh yeah, like I was gonna mention, I was gonna talk about before, and we check the recording real quick. So in between, while I was gearing up, I went to go to um, the f buy a laser rifle mod because I'm like, okay, I'm gonna kind of upgrade the laser rifle a bit so it does its maximum damage. Still, really poor damage. Only does like 69.3 damage at this current level. Other, you know, the the Elijah's laser rifle from the Big Empty. Is still going to do more damage per single shot than the laser rifle ever will, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. But yeah, I was doing that and I went to, um, freaking, what you call it, uh, Freeside, and every, uh, silver, silver, silver person, like the people who sell the laser guns, and we did that quest involving them about, they were all aggroed on me. And I'm like, I don't want to kill them, otherwise I'll get a bad ending. Or that bad ending will not, or that one of those endings will not happen. But it was like, I was, I basically had to try and figure out, like, how the hell do I make them not aggro? And what I had to do was, A, I had to go use the console command to reset their aggro. But I had to do it in stealth, because the second they see me, if at least one of them was aggro, then they would all aggro. That was the crazy part. Which makes sense, because usually if like you start shooting someone, and it's a group of people that are all affiliated with each other, you shoot one, they all get mad. So, you know, if one's mad, then they're all going to start shooting. So I had to eat a stealth boy, crouch, be sneaky, and then de-aggro every one of them individually so nothing bad would happen. It was crazy. And also, it's like, wow, that sucks. But, you know, I fixed it, thankfully, with the power of cons command. And yeah, that was my gearing up story. Also, the uh, Caesar's Legion resupply cache was still resupplying me every three days. Regardless of that. Regardless of me being vilified by, vilified by them, which was hilarious. There's your signal, faint but there. Just like NCR. Voice without fire, without strength, sick. Ow. Her tales of you walking the Mojave, giving the two-headed bear strength, giving hollow men like Kimball, like Crocker, half the life Hanlon had. Now, let's test that strength, that conviction, courier. You have a lot of hate for the NCR. That kind of hate isn't new in the Mojave. Maybe you better tell me who you are and what you want. I'm a courier. Courier 6. Was Courier 6. Like you. And not like you. In all the ways that matter. Spent too many years looking for you. Now letting you come to me. Oh. Thought carrying that ship would end you. No. You got lives in you. Hard to kill. Storms, bullets, sand and wind. Yet still you walk. For now. <sighs> Alright. We've never spoken before. I'd remember your voice. Words are the only way couriers meet. Sometimes it's the paths we walk. But no. We've never spoken before now. Ah. You may not know my voice, but we've walked the same places. The long 15 to Prim. That wasn't the only road you ever walked. I've been to your home, the place you kept returning to. May not be the place you were born, it was the place you gave life to. Same thing. People forget 
Couriers can keep communities alive until the day they're gone and their breath catches in their throat. Alrighty. Most likely to. <laughs> so you're the one who sent the radio message. Ulysses. Not my given name. Close enough. Alright. Took it from history. Found it in a book. It's an old world name. Ulysses lived a long time ago. Long before the old world set fire to itself. He made a mark without being myth. Had to fight during a time when his world had two flags, and he had to make them one. Hmm. Alright. Ulysses, not the myth. You're honoring history, not stories. History. Yes. Ulysses walked a hard road. A general, like Caesar and Oliver. He was brown and stubborn. Gave him strength on the battlefield. He led his side to victory. Turned two flags into one. That's when he lost. When the fighting was done, the sickness took hold. Lesson there. If history is to be believed, one you should heed. Alrighty. You brought me here to talk. If you wanted to kill me, you'd have waited until I came for the chip. No. No, I couldn't. And I'm thinking you can't kill me either. If you did, you'd answer for it, just as I would. Let the lambs do the killing for you. That's one of the things you taught me. Okay. Killing is personal. So those vows, promises, last bits more important to me than the first. Wait, so you swore not to kill me? Why? What kind of world would this be if Courier killed Courier? You've got enough distance ahead of you. Save your breath for the road. Don't waste it on words. Uh-huh. You chose Ulysses because of the two flags reference. Is that tied to the war in the Mojave? War. Call it that. Our part in it. Ulysses wasn't made for the flag he followed. He wasn't made for peace. That's the lesson. If you follow a symbol to the end, ask yourself what that means. More important, ask what happens after the end. Forget your name, back to the job you refused. All right, courier. If the why of it matters to you. You were supposed to carry the chip. Meant to. No. Never. Your burden. Weigh you down long enough to let death catch up to you. But you survived. I sure did. There was death in that package. And while the chip is important to old world ghosts. No. You are more dangerous than that chip ever could be. Maybe why you found each other. Little piece of the old world speaking to you, waiting for you to wake something else up with it. Sir, so refuse to deliver a chip. What, to set me up to die? We all have death following us. Only a question of how close. You dodged it for a time. You're good at that. Talent for it. With that chip weighing you down, a burden. Let's death move a little faster without me pulling the trigger. You wanted me dead. Why did you wait? Promises to keep to others. And the Mojave's dangerous enough left to the land. The land has its way. If I wanted you dead, we would have met sooner. Not sure that's the way this ends. Might be that history needs to have its say. If not, then messages will do. How are you speaking through Eddie? The robot with you. All of them are machines, radios, old world tech reshaped with new hands, historians, couriers carrying messages. Seen them as I've walked the divide, 
tending other machines. That one, sealed inside the Hopeville silo. Sign America is waking up. It will follow you, obey you, carry it until we are face to face. Then there will be no more need for it to carry my words. Gotcha. What is this place? The Divide. This place is a slice of it. Old military. Can still smell the pride. And the fear. Hope of the old world. Wrapped in fencing. Covered in storm. Got new inhabitants now. Other than ghosts. More recent. Recruits. Gotcha. This area looks like it was hit by with earthquakes or underground detonations. America sleeps in the divide. Giants beneath the earth. You saw one locked in the silo beneath you. There's more. Only takes a few of them locked below ground to tear apart the earth and cast dust, sand, ash into the skies above. You'll see the extent, the miles of it, soon enough. You need to see it. Walk it. For now, eyes alert. Watch the streets below. There's still life in the divide. Threats other than the storms and wind. New inhabitants. Inhabitants? It doesn't look like anyone's alive down there. These new inhabitants, not natives, most of them, came with duty purpose, ready to kill each other. The divide was stronger. Left marks on them, too. Not bear, not bull. Now, radiations mark them, made them equal in history's eyes. All right. As vicious as the storms are, these shadows of Legion, of NCR, silhouettes of things to come. Gotcha. Those bodies in the silo were NCR soldiers, some special forces. Eh, let's go with this one. If you saw their corpses, you saw mercy. Got what they deserved, coming to the divide. The bear and bull. NCR legion. Came in waves, before and after. Right into the invisible fires. The wind ground, collapsing beneath them. Once under different flags, now they are equal in their hatred of the trespassers. You and I. Alrighty. Never seen corpses mutilate, mutilated like that. Even as the fires here burned them from within, the winds of the divide tore their skin, exposed them, screaming to the sky. And just as the divide tears at them, so they tear at each other for sport, like some tribal scarification. <laughs> Falling back to their history, maybe. Maybe. No matter what they suffer, the radiation, fire of the divide, sustains them, makes them stronger. Radi radiation may keep them alive in areas. So physically punishing, it would kill others, even cools. Really? There's truth in your words. In what I've seen of their tactics, movements, recovery, those wounds, they couldn't live otherwise. Yeah. The divide winds have torn the skin from many of them. Maybe the radiation is the only thing keeping them walking. They camp near silos, warheads. No way to cleanse the radiation. Makes them hard to kill there. Have to draw them out. Enough t I don't care what you have to say. I only want to know where you are. Enough talking. You went to a lot of trouble to lure me here, so let's get on with this. America sleeps ahead of you. It's nightmares filled with quakes, storms. You'll need to find your own path. That means waking America's spears up from their slumber. There's ways. Warheads set off the collapse. Warheads could open the gates again. You're resourceful. That machine, robot with you, 
can help you find the warheads you need to destroy. And their trigger, the detonator. The way ahead is below. The tools are there. The rest, up to you. We share history then, before going forward. I want to know the past. Well, am I still recording? Yes, we are. Very good. Oh, 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 back, back, back. Continue. Who are you who do not know your history? I don't know. You came all this way for answers. Only currency I have. Nothing else to be gained. Could turn around, walk away at any time. If history matters to you, you'll need to earn it. Any laws of mine, I have already cast away in the divide. They're lost to you. For now, find the trigger for the warheads buried in Hopeville. Use it to keep moving and keep alive. Gotcha. All right, I'll find this trigger. Then I'll come go, come find you. The divide will send its worst against you. It may break you. We'll see if you're stronger. Damn right I am, bitch. The road gets rougher from here, courier. Left marks for you. Colors will tell the way if you're smart. Uh. They'll lead you to your home one more time. Lead to the ending of it. Maybe remind you why you wander. Whew. That is some experience points. The job. You, you good, Eddie? That is an impressive multi-tool multi suite you got there. I bet I can make all sorts of stuff with that. Is that an Armcore portable reloading bench built into you? That'll be handy. Oh, goodness. Goodbye. Oh, my goodness. Whew. Now let's actually get to the meat of all this. See, that doesn't go anywhere yet, so we gotta go this way. And onward we go. The first things first, all the drugs. Oh my god, overcharge ammo? So they actually got some penetration power going on. Alright, you just have a knife. That's, uh. Well, better than that. Better than you having a big gun. Alright, first things first on our pit stop is this little, uh. Oh, that sucks. Right in here. There we go. <sighs> GovTech hollow point. There we go. Manufacture small energy cells or microfusion cells once per day. Very good. There's also an achievement tied to all this as well. Finding Eddie's upgrades. Oh, hey, drugs. Oh, nice. Oh. Armory access codes? Oh, that's dope. No, let's keep going. Wait, Eddie. You got anything for me? Ooh, you switched to the three-eighths wrench. And the small drill. Those weapon repairs could be easier. If you drop the power up by 0.24, you'll be able to make more energy ammo with no quality loss. 
You know, if you strip out the plasma relays, those energy cells, you can make flamer fuel. For those safety catches on those microfusion cells, you can turn them into satchel charges. Right on. Gaining all the XP from it. good old Eddie here. Right, let's keep going. Yeah. I think it's at rank 4 with Eddie is when I'll be able to uh, get that damage increase for laser guns. And for the Gatling laser, it's big. It is a big upgrade. Alright, drugs and drugs. Very good. I think there's also a unique weapon back here, if I'm not mistaken. Ow. Oh. Oh, Doc. Well then. Our rare sight indeed. Oh, nice. Access commissary. What we got? Oh, that's right. Oh, why was this twelve thousand caps? Was it? Did it have something to do with that password I found? Huh? I actually have no idea. Guess what? I remember somewhere there was like, like a, like a melee weapon here. Something. No, I think I'm just wrong. There's not even an upstairs. That's okay. So let's save the game real quick just in case something goes kerfucky again. Oh, hello. <laughs> Alright. That's what I get for texting while doing it. Actually, let me check the recording. Ah, we still got some time. Let's continue. Uh, yeah. Onward! Of course. The one that's 85% chance to unlock locks or gets broken when I do that. But the 35% chance goes through easily. Oh, deadly headshots. Have, uh, we got some work to do. Ha! Ah, broke again. Let's go the other way. Now that super sniper there is dealt with, it's time for us to make a speedy getaway elsewhere. So, yeah. I swear, there was something I wanted to talk about. For whatever reason, but I've forgotten. That's okay. You know, this DLC is really cool. Just, oh, the desolation, the destruction. I don't know if this was ever going to be possible with the original Fallout format. Because a lot of people say this is Fallout 3. And I'm kind of inclined to believe them, you know? Oh, the men's bear. Blade of the West. Anti-material rifle of power. Dandy boy apples. Oh, hello. Damn it. I almost got it. Nice. Oh, God damn it. Hell yeah. Nice. Sweet. Wait, did I grab that? Oh yeah, I did. It restocked. Oh, that's a broken super sledge. That's a power fist of no money. Ah, I see. Hopeville Missile Base. East entrance. Right on. Well, we need to go this way to get the detonator. You also get a good chunk of XP for blowing up um, warheads. There's a shit ton of them here. 
like to a concerning amount. Let's see, what effects am I currently under? Medic, Psycho, and Reinforced Spine. That's correct. Uh oh. Geronimo! Nice. This is the guy we exploded. Oh, that was... Armor piercing rounds? Oh, right. I Yeah, I remember now what he's armed with. Yeah. Red glare. The latest in missile -like technology. Oh, why did I do that? Nice. Pretty potent stuff, though. Basically an automatic rocket launcher. Well, bam. Anyway. Let's grab this thing we really came here for, and that is the detonator. You found the laser detonator. Oh my goodness, you have found the laser detonator you Lissy spoke of. A piece of pre war tech that can detonate the nuclear warhead scattered around the Lonesome Road. You can use it to open new paths, kill your enemies from afar, or even discover secret loot caches. Right. Just point at the warhead, hold down the trigger, and watch the explosion. But you Lissy says it's true, you'll need this to advance, which means there must be a warhead blocking the way forward. You need to find the correct warhead and detonate it. Alrighty. There we go. Ah! And they've come for me. That is a grenade. Ow. There we go. A lot of brush guns. Oh, and we leveled up. Excellent. Explosive will carry on to the maximum. Very good. Oh yeah, flare gun. Eh. Oh, why is everything so dim? There we go. Mass Frickin' endless wall of orgasm face. Alrighty, I think we'll end things here. It's a, it seems like a good stopping point. So thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Hope to see you in the next one. Take care, and have a wonderful day.